Okay, so thanks to Mr. Heater on this 15 degree day, I uh, managed to finish up the solar kit and I got a lot of people that had questions about it. So I figured I'd give you the rundown on it and how it works out. So right here, here's the power coming in. I just put uh, MC4 adapters for the solar, goes through, runs through up here. Brings power into the solar controller, comes out to the batteries. I got uh, 200 amp hour batteries to store the power. So and then it comes back out on this side. This side here is a 600 watt power inverter for uh, fans and lights and all kinds of things, anything we need to charge. And on the other side I got the 12 volt coming down with, off of that actually is uh, USB ports for a computer, anything that. We've got some solar lights. So let me show you here. Here's the, I can monitor everything right from here, this this little control panel, and I can change parameters, but I got it set for uh, solar for dummies, because, <laughs> uh, I, you know, I just want power. But uh, this side here, I got uh, the inverter, right, so anything, you just plug right in. I tested all this out on lights and all kinds of stuff, and I had fans running, charging phone, playing a radio, anything we're going to need for, for our camp is, is definitely going to be well powered. Over here is... Uh, the 12 volt side, but it got right here got uh, USB, two USBs, and a 12 volt. So um, this over here's got a USB too. We're gonna need that. Figure three of them. Everything we've got for USBs, but worked out pretty good. It's uh, the Pelican case holding this nice. I built this shelf here for you know just to support the devices. And uh, I got the batteries strapped down. I screwed right into this. This case is pretty tough. I don't know if you can see down there, but yep, pretty much uh, close the lid, throw in the back of the Jeep, and uh, when we open up the Jeep, we'll just have the power sitting right here. We can plug everything into it and uh, monitor everything. I won't even have to open a case. So all in all, it worked out pretty good. Got a 100-watt solar panel feeding it and plenty of power for everything. Anywhere we go, we're good. So... That's it, kids. Enjoy.